to run a fully multilingual site, the theme needs to be localized as well. I'll show you how to do it with WPML. First, we need to go to advanced mode. Now we can go to the theme localization in WPML. I'll choose to translate the theme with WPML. There are two elements in the theme that need to be localized. There are the standard WordPress texts and the texts that are unique to your theme. The standard WordPress texts are loaded from the WordPress MOR file. It needs to be stored in WP Includes Languages. WPML allows you to enter the locale code for different languages. Here, in this column. And then it checks that the WordPress MOR file exists. If it's not there, you can load it. You can get it from here. Next, we translate the theme's texts. WPML scans the PHP files for the theme and extracts text that can be translated. The texts need to be wrapped in get text calls. Then it reports what's already localized and what needs to be translated. The translation itself is done through WPML's string translation mechanism. Let's see what needs to be localized in this theme. So right now there are four strings that don't have any translation. Let's see an example. For instance, this string. Here it is down here at the bottom. And if I go to a different language, I see that it's not translated as well. Same string. I'll enter some dummy translation. Of course, this is not the real translation, I'm just showing how it works. And here is my translation. So I don't need to edit any MOV file and I don't need to upload it anywhere. It's just there. And that's it. We go through the rest of the strings. We can select what kind of strings we want to, to see. If you're looking at all the strings or just the ones that need translation and which ones. Right now I'm looking at the strings for my theme that need translation. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.